All right. Hello, everyone. Today, it's Alex from Traders War Room doing another video of the day. So today, we're doing something a little different. Um, I did want to have a conversation about using some kind of software or program to track all of your trades, right? It's really important and honestly crucial, in my opinion, that you have the ability to actually import all of your trades that you do, right? Especially if you're heavily trading, or you're a day trader, and you want to just be responsible for your trades, right? And you want to know and look at them and be like, you know, am I trading too much? Am I trading maybe, like, how good am I trading in the morning? Am I profitable more in the morning than at, like, later in the day? Like, you know, am I more profitable swing trading than day trading? Um, what size prices, what size, you know, whatever, right? It's really great to have these metrics because then you can look at them after, like, a month and be like, wow, I suck trading in the morning like this guy does right here, right? I suck trading in the morning. <laughs> so what I learned looking at my statistics is like, wow, all my money comes from the afternoon, right? And I'm in California, by the way. So, you know, 6, 6.30 is market open for me. One o'clock is market close. So, you know, looking at data like this, which by the way, you could import all of it into, it's called tradersync.com. It's a fantastic website. And then they literally sort everything for you. So let me kind of give it like a virtual tour to kind of enroll you and excite you and the power that this has, okay? So this is one of my portfolios, right? So we load the sucker up, right? And then let's go to portfolio and let's measure my performance. Um, let's see here. So then go to reports, go to overview. Okay, and it's gonna break down your profit loss, right? Based on the data. So according to this, November 15th, right? I had $460 um, in this account. Right. And then over time, I built it up. So honestly, I started with more than 460. This is just referring to the profit curve, just FYI. Um, I started with about 5,000. And then, right. And then 5,000 plus my accumulative return equals my new account balance. So, you know, with any kind of a profit loss, right, you always want your account to do this, right? You always want your account balance to go from the bottom left to the top right across the screen. If you ever watch John Carter at all in his videos, he says that a lot, right? That's where I got it from. And then what's really great about this website is they break down like all your metrics for you, which is like really cool. So check this out. So in my entire life of this, you know, portfolio, I have an accumulated return of 6,648, right? Plus 5,000 is my new balance. Um, then it has the like biggest profit, biggest loser, profit to loss ratio. And check this out, right? my win rate was only 55%, <laughs> right? But look at my cumulative return is 133%. So one kind of like fallacy I want to set straight right now regarding option trading or trading in general is that if you don't have like a very high win rate, like you're not going to do well. Well, yeah, that's a lie, obviously, <sighs> right? So the way it should really be said honestly. And the way that you should look at your trading is more so like this, right? You're not going to win every position. But the trick is that when you do, you cut them quickly, right? Like look at my profit to loss ratio, 1.6 profit to one loss. Like if I can cut every loss at like 20, 30% besides that one, because that was a bad trade, right? You know, and my biggest profits are between 50, 100 and 200% return then over time, your profit curve will go up, right? So very simply said, cut the losers quickly and let the winners run, okay? So that means that I love and use stop losses, right? I open up a brand new, like, you know, naked call, like I'm buying a call, I automatically have a 30% hard stop. Every time, doesn't matter, I always do that. Now, as the stock moves up in profit, I move my stop up, right? So let's say I get into like an Apple position over the last month and it's like skyrocketing. But once I hit 10% profit on that option, I take my stop from 30%. Now I move it up to break even. So now I'm guaranteed to not lose any money on that position. And if Apple runs, I will keep adjusting my stop moving up following the price, right? So let's say Apple is here and then goes here. I'll move my stop to like right here, right? Apple goes from here to here. My stop now is here. Apple goes here, my stop is here. So it's kind of called like a trailing stop loss. Okay, you don't want to be too tight because it might bounce a little bit, but you want to give it some room, but you also want to keep profits, right? So this is a, a really good strategy, okay?
okay, to make money over the long haul. So your profit curve goes left, bottom left to top right, okay? Um, they also have things like, you know, average return, right, losers and winners. Look, average return on losers, check it out, 10%. That was my average percentage loss on a, on a loser. That's pretty good, right? Average on winners is about 70% more. So that shows you why I'm more profitable, right? Average dollar in winners, 94, 93 and a half dollars, almost about, you know, 70, 80% more than these. So this is what you want, right? You want the biggest percentage winners to be a lot bigger than your percentage losers, right? Because that's how you build your account over time. It shows you how many trades you do. I mean, literally, it breaks down everything. Check this out, right? Hold time, average was 16 hours, right? Like I told you, I figured out that I make more money with overnight swings or swings. So I started doing more of them, and that's where all my profits really came from, okay? So let me actually show you that right now. It's really cool. So in here for reports, you go into hold time, and then check this out. It'll break down all of your trades by hold time. Okay, look at this, return. Negative 676, negative 32, negative 374, return loss, right? When I saw this, I was like, wow, I need to stop trading short-term options. <laughs> I suck at day trading. <laughs> like I need to go to what I'm strong at, which is overnight and daily swings. That's where like literally almost 95% of my money came from was those, right? Literally, this is like $7,000 right here. If I didn't lose these, I would have made a lot more, right? So this is great data because this tells you, wow, like I suck at day trading. <laughs> I should not be day trading anymore, like scalping. I should stop. And I have actually. And now my profits, you know, going up a lot more than it was before. Uh, let's see. What's, up, what's also really cool as well is you could do this by date. So check this out. I'll sort this by date. So let's go to November. Cause I think that was, cause that was the first whole month I was trading. I, I think I started November 15th for this portfolio and let's look at my results real quickly. So this is just over 15 days, by the way, literally I started on the 15th. Wow. <laughs> That's incredible, right? I made $4,524 in 15 days. That's like insane. Right. And then go back to the overview. I like line charts. Wow, that's pretty amazing, right? For one month, I grew my account 59%. I'm sorry, 90% in one month. I grew my account, my cash account. Biggest winner, 196. Biggest loser, right? Biggest profit, 690 is about two and a half times this. That's what it should be, right? Average loser, negative 12, which is really good, right? You want to keep between like, you know, 15, 20% max if you can on average, right? Cut the winner, cut the losers quickly. Let the runner let the came and talk. Let the winners run. Okay. Same thing. Average loss, 61. Average winner sh should be usually about double. Okay, that's a good ratio here, two to one, right? It's about three to one here. Okay. So great information. You can do things like um, you can do like sector based on the stocks that you do. You can do volume, um, entry price, monthly, weekday, whatever you want. They have all the trades in the journal. So this is actually a list of all the trades you make. So you can kind of follow these. And it's kind of cool because if you click on it, it'll break it down for you, right? It'll say entry price and like exit price. And then look, see? So entry was 315, exit was 320, so five bucks. Quick little profit there. I think I was, yeah, I was scalping Apple all this time. <laughs> that was one of the day trades that I actually made money on, right? Um, this to me, honestly, is one of the greatest features of this program is the calendar option. So this will actually, and it's like a really beautiful, isn't it? Like visualization here is that in November, this is how much money I made or lost every day. And you could put notes on it like I did. If you want, you could put notes like, you know, like, like for example, like did a dumb trade this day, should need to stop day trading. And, you know, it just gives you a great thing to look at, you know, that's really, really cool. So if you look at it, look at all the green days, you know, if you could have a trading career like this, where like 80% of your days are green and the whole week is green or overall is green and the whole month overall is green, that's how you really make a lot of money here. Okay, for sure. All right, so that's pretty much Trader Sync. It's really cool. Um, you could sort it by portfolio. You could do it by all. You know, literally, you could literally. This thing is so customizable, right? FOMO, emotional mistakes, long or short. You could do it by setup. You could even do it by stock. Like Apple, honestly, was my biggest winner in November. Like I made look. What is this? Like a few thousand dollars just off of Apple alone. It's insane, right? I was really cashing on that run up with Apple. But it's cool because you could sort of buy it, right? Like, let's say you look at something like, I don't know. Uh, what's a, what's one that I lost a lot of money on or I lost money on? Do, do, do. I think this one maybe. 
Ah. Uh, I have to go back. Uh, here we go. So Apple overview. And as you see, it's really easy to use, right? Very easy to use. Okay, so this one actually I made money on. Um, I forgot which ones I lost money on, but it's kind of cool, right? You could like go through all of these and it'll like tell you like, you know, how much money you made, how much money you lost. And you can do it by stock, sort, whatever you want. It's really cool. So definitely recommend you guys all try this out. They do have a free trial with TraderSync. Um, and then if you want to help me out um, and also help yourselves out, it's kind of cool because this is how affiliate referral programs work. When you register to buy a package, use the code that's called the coupon code AMPT training, trading. Okay, and we'll put this in the description as well. When you use this coupon code to get a membership, like a paid membership, it'll give you 15% off your membership fee for like the whole month or year, whatever it is, okay? So use my code. This way I get a few bucks. You save 15% and everyone wins. All right, guys and gals, have a great day. You know, please, please, please get some kind of a program or software to track your trades so you can find trends like I showed you, like maybe what times a day you shouldn't be trading, maybe what strategies don't work for you. Like you can break this down by strategy too. That's what setup is. Like it's really, really powerful. Okay, so please take this on. All right, everyone have a great day. Take care. Bye.